I realized that so many people make it sound like breastfeeding is something that comes natural and to be honest to most people myself included it didn't come quite as natural I did it I soldiered on but it was not a natural process it was a struggle each time I want to say for the first almost three months <laughs> Welcome to day nine of Vida. Today I'm back here to talk to you guys about my breastfeeding struggles. Um, I just feel like so many times when a person is pregnant, people spend a little bit more time like trying to prepare you for labor pains and uh, like what comes after the baby and everything. But somehow they always forget to warn you about breastfeeding. Kayber is now almost three years old and uh, when she was a little baby, I was exclusively breastfeeding her for the first four months of her life and then I had to go back obviously so I would breastfeed her in the super early hours in the morning and then I would breastfeed her again um, when I come back from work she didn't want to take breast milk in a bottle which was kind of crazy but in that time during the day she would have like formula milk and it worked perfect but somehow she decided to just I'm over this I don't want it so she quit when Kayla was born obviously we went to hospital and everything was fantastic we had had the staff nurses and my midwife was there and my doula was there and everybody was just there and willing to help us and it was amazing our first ever time breastfeeding it, had, it was a bit of a struggle for her to latch on but my midwife helped out and eventually she latched on very nice and then came the time where we had to go home oh my gosh you guys I was so frustrated with breastfeeding so many times I was like that's it I'm done like seriously I can't do this it was so frustrating and the problem was that K-Bear just could not let on right I don't know if it was me or something was just happening but she just wouldn't let on right so we tried everything and my mom was there and she was also getting frustrated because obviously in her head I was doing something wrong like I just couldn't get the baby to let on right and we're all just getting frustrated. It was just one big ball of frustration everywhere. I went into the breastfeeding consultation room and I was talking to that very, very nice lady. And um, I was explaining to her what's happening, like, hey, baby, it doesn't latch on right. And I was telling her that when she did latch on, it didn't quite last long. She would make like little sounds where it sounded like she was literally sucking nothing. And it was crazy. So then, I have no idea what she did, but it was like unicorn magic, I tell you. Um, all I know is she was there with us for like 10 seconds and Kebe had latched on. She was feeling just fine. I was even holding her up. I was standing on my feet and I was like, oh my gosh, if this could happen every day, I could get so much done around the house. She showed me how she did it and everything was amazing. And I was like, awesome, I got this. I can totally do it. So we went back home. Obviously, Kebe was knocked out the whole time we went back home and then the struggle began i couldn't do it the way she did it and it was just a struggle so eventually i realized that it kind of works best when i'm lying down like when i'm breastfeeding her and we're lying down she latches on and um like you know the breastfeeding process then gets easier so i decided to just stick to that and i'm not kidding you guys every time for 11 months straight when i was feeding kebe I was lying down and then came the part that nobody warned me about still cracked nipples um, engorged boobs it was just crazy oh my gosh you guys I had the worst cracked nipples ever why does anybody never tell you about it like I keep saying to this day that breastfeeding pain I will skip that for labor pains any time in a heartbeat. My nipples were cracked so bad, you guys. So, so bad uh, to a point where I was only breastfeeding her from like one side. I could only feed her from the left side because the right side was bleeding and cracked and horrible. And everyone I talked to kept saying, just keep giving her, it'll get better. It was so bad to a point where every time when I had to breastfeed her, I would get like little anxiety attacks. Like, oh my gosh, do we have to do it? Like, does it really have to be now? It was insane. So I didn't feed her from my right boob for the longest time. And that didn't help either because then the boob got engorged and it was just even more painful. So eventually I had to give in. There were times where I would be breastfeeding her and tears would be flowing because it was so painful. And she never seemed to be bothered because 
I don't know. I, I really don't know. She was getting the milk that was perfect. The bleeding had stopped, so she wasn't drink, drinking like blood flavored milk. It was just milk, and she had no problem. I kept feeding her, and she really enjoyed feeding from the sole boob. It was insane. I was like, really child so anyway I kept breastfeeding her on the right boob and eventually it felt much much better I feel like even though I really enjoyed breastfeeding K Bear like I really did I was like my heart shattered to many pieces when she decided she doesn't want it but it was really kind of so at the beginning it was insane it was stressful it was not fun for me at all it was one of those things where I was like she's my daughter I have to do this this is what I want to do but it's really really painful it was really sore and I feel like for me being able to breastfeed her for those 11 months straight with formula in between that was a huge achievement for me it was really huge I didn't think I was gonna make it that far and to be honest I'm still very proud of myself right now I had planned initially to breastfeed her until kingdom comes like maybe when I don't know I'll probably only be stopping now when she feels like she's a big girl and she's probably too embarrassed to breastfeed in public but you know she obviously had different plans in mind and I obviously had to listen to her like you know I don't really I didn't really want to force her to breastfeed when she didn't want to um, it was a really painful process for me to just like you know just let it go like that it almost felt like back at the start when my my nipples were cracked and everything was just painful. I would call her pediatrician because I was freaking out. I, th I really thought she was missing out on something. I really thought something was wrong. And he was like, no, she's just over it. Like, she doesn't want it. It's crazy. Even to this day, KV likes milk, but she doesn't really like too much milk. She will drink like maybe a quarter of a cup, like a third of a cup. And then she'll be like, I'm cool. She doesn't take her cereal with milk. She wants milk on the side and if you put milk in the cereal she'll never finish all of her cereal it's kind of crazy but anywho those are my breastfeeding struggles honestly i really wish somebody warned me about this i really wish somebody told me look your nipples are gonna be crazy sore or do this before you start breastfeeding so it can feel much much better or just be prepared you might get cracked nipples or like you know i just really wish somebody warned me if i had to have another baby now i'm gonna breastfeed the baby but I don't know what I would do different and it won't help that every baby is different so he or she will probably have like a completely different way of doing it it might be a much much easier process it might be even worse or it might be the very very same thing I would have to go through with K-Bear but I must say breastfeeding is not all peaches and cream and unicorns and rainbows sometimes it does not come as natural as people say it does and um you just have to soldier on and keep trying hard if you want to do it it was the most frustrating thing i've ever had to go through i there was concerned about labor pains when i was pregnant i had prepared myself for labor pains i was ready and everything except i wasn't ready for breastfeeding it just hit me like oh my goodness this does not come natural i feel like this video was more like a rant if that makes sense but i'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to check us out on our social media links are all down below in the description box and also check back again tomorrow for another video video and until then i will see you guys later bye guys